Do you ever just like record a whole video and then realize that you weren't recording the whole time? Yeah, that's exactly what I just did. <laughs> God's sake. Such a pain. Okay, I was recording for about an hour as well. It's getting quite late now, but I want to get this video out for you guys. So it might be a bit of a late one, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but I did want to get this out and uh, play this deck because a lot of you guys do want to see me play it. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it's a really fun and really good deck to play. And it is Venomoth. So uh, yeah, I think we could give this one a shot. With that said, uh, I think we should get going and uh, see how it, how it all fares. Um, but right. A few things to clarify, the way this deck is built, I don't know if, it, if traditional Venomoth decks are built like this. This is just what I thought would work best with Venomoth. And it is a, um, a hard to set up, but also very rewarding um, Macargo and Pidgeotto engine. And again, I don't know if that's how it's traditionally played, but I'm going to give it a shot. And uh, so far, so good. Um, basically... The idea of this deck is to play, obviously, Koga or Janine, depending on what you're up against. Um, and if you look at the main meta and the format currently, a lot of top tier decks are basic Pokemon. So, with that knowledge, uh, Janine is the primary uh, supporter we would like to use with Venomoth, considering it also has draw uh, support as well, whereas Koga doesn't. So... <sighs> of course, we're not up against the basic replicates and evolution deck. But right, let me make my point. <laughs> um, so uh, we have Macargo and Pidgey to guarantee us. Oh, yay! Guarantee us every single turn, pretty much what we want. So if we wanted to cycle Janines every turn, we can. We can play a four Janines, Pow Pad, play another two Pow Pad, which we have two Pow Pads in the deck, by the way, um, and just use Janine as much as possible and as consistently as possible, which is really good for this engine because basically you could use Janine, run out of them, Pow Pad them into the deck, use Macargo and Pidgeotto to bring it back pretty much on the same turn. So it's got a lot of a lot of potential, which is great. Now, starting second in this deck is bad. It is not good in the slightest. I'm just being dead honest with you here. It is not good um, because you just don't get the easy setup. You don't get the start that you want. And cars like this can really take advantage, which is just a no-no in my books. Uh, right. Life Forest, I don't think it's going to be needed. It's going to be something quite beneficial for them, actually. So that's the last thing I want to do. We could custom capture here and see if we get lucky on the top deck. What do we get? Yeah, we got another. Uh, I actually don't mind playing a Guzma here and going for the confusion on this, but there's a big risk behind it, considering that we obviously need to see, or hope, should I say, that they don't have the beast energy uh, to get the KO. But do you know what? We're going to risk it for a biscuit. You know, it's, it's what we do. It's just what we do, man. All right, go for the side beam. Hopefully that confusion sticks. I'm just checking if I'm recording. <laughs> Hopefully I am. <laughs> I'm recording. I'm recording. Thank the Lord. Um, oh, do you want to see a cool trick? Yeah, why well, we just let this guy do his thing, right? So, I've been learning a bit of magic. I used to learn it a lot when I was when I was younger. I used to like really be enthusiastic about it, and I stopped doing it for a while, and then I, you know, started doing it a little bit again. Just like seeing people's amazement when doing magic tricks is fantastic. So, like, let's say for example, right? I've got this Ace of Hearts. All I've got to do is give it a flick, and uh. Okay, jokes aside, <laughs> it is a pretty fun trick to learn, but I haven't mastered it clearly. Um, what are we up against, though? Triple charge. Search your deck for free basic energy cards. Search your deck But why not do Mew though? Why you do this stuff though? Why? That's a lot of that's a lot of that's a lot of resources to get something that something a Mew could. Do. Wow, really? Okay, sure, fine. At least they're not KOing us this turn, which is good. But all we gotta do, man, we just gotta just gotta play that play that Janine. Get 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 this Brett in. <laughs> get the um Oh, they're gone for the shaman. Yeah, get we need a DCE off the Janine and a Venom off, which is super unlikely. So if we just get lucky, we could pull off a pretty good turn here. However, I don't see that happening. And uh, they do have a one hit KO on us as well. Which is really bad. Yikes. Butterfree doing bits out here, yeah? Eight. I see. I see. I see. Do we do this now, though? Do we like doing that now? Oh, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna risk it. I just as I said, this is just what we do. We just risk it for the biscuit. Like it's just it's just how we do it, man. Like um, Janine, give us everything, please. Uh, no, tis bad. Tis very bad. Tis not good. 
Okay. Just, just, Pidgeotto, help me. Ah, no, it's even worse. Oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Okay, um, this is going down, which is not great. However, we have the Ditto. We have another Venonat. We will probably lose a prize, but at least we can uh, still follow up next turn. But, man, just to set up. This is why starting first is so important. If you just get set up, then you, you're, you're rolling. You're off and rolling. However... Because the thing is, right, if we get the Venomoth out, we have to play now a Cynthia to guarantee that, unless we get an Ultra Ball, in which we can guarantee a Janine, um, with the Macargo, but mm, that's a problem as well, because we have to Janine for the Venomoth. So there's those issues with the deck as well, um, when it comes to it. It does lack in some ways. They're going for the Jet Punch. Okay. Okay, dude. I see. I see. I see you, dig. I see what you do. Uh, I think... Let's... Mm. See, I'm thinking, do I Pidgeotto, hope it's a Venomoth, and then go for Koga's Trap? No, Sean, that's bad. Let's Cynthia. <laughs> Let's guarantee that we get what we want. Oh, we got the Venomoth, but we don't have the DCE. We, we can use our GX attack, which is good. Uh, we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to do this. Power Plant is not really worthwhile. Pidgeotto. Not worthwhile. These cards are just discardable, to be honest with you, right now. Uh, we'll get the power plant. Just, just, just so they, it, for any reason, they have Lele in the deck. There's something, right, we could work with, you know. All right, ten card return. Just give me the fattest hand ever. I am fine with that. Let's do that. Thank you. And uh, no, Macargo, damn. But we got the Ultra Ball, which is good. So that's that's fine. We have DCE Galore, which is great. Um, so that's that's good. Elegant Soul. There's the KO that we was expecting. Um, but, you know, we, we have kind of what we need here. We don't have the Janine, though, but we have the Lele for it. So there's that. Let's promote. Always promote the float, even though it's not a float stone. <laughs> wow. Not, yeah, I mean, that's a bit of an abundance of DC. I'll be honest with you, man. <laughs> uh, we may indeed actually have a KO on this bad boy. If I play my card right. Ha, <laughs> ha. Okay, no, let's, let's stop the puns. Um, so we get you, right? And we only take 200 damage, so the Koga will give us the KO. So we have the KO because of the Koga, which is a sweet, sweet victory. Um, I don't want to evolve this Pidgeotto onto the Ditto, that's bad. Uh, let's, let's air mail, see what we get. Choice ban, is that at all relevant? Well, yes. In some way. I mean, we're getting a KO on this, but then I've got to really be worried about them following up and getting a return KO if they find the Choice Band or a Beast Energy, which they, they, they have the chance to do. Um, but, I mean, we, we can't miss a KO on this thing. We have to take it. So, I guess we just we just, we just just roll with it for now, right? We just do the Koga's Trap. There we go. And then we go in with the, uh, the Shinobi Master. Mastery. There we go. Great thing about this Venomoth is if you do the Koga, you can actually, with a Choice Band, one hit KO a Picaron, which is really good, because obviously you're hitting 240 with the Poison, so that's that's something pretty cool. There's the Janine, which is great for this matchup, so good, 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 good. Because now no matter what, they can't attack this Venomoth, which means they need to Guzma their way around it, which is uh, a bit of a pain for them. Oh, Lord, okay. Do not have Retreat. I mean, if they had that in their hand, though, did they really need to promote the Butterfree? They really could... Oh, wait, no, no. They don't have the knockout, do they? Hang on. What is your ability here? Why should you referring to you may flip a coin if you had search your deck for a card that evolves through this Pokemon, put it here. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's really cool. Now I know why this Butterfree is being played. It's a bit more consistent, actually. You don't really need Rare Candy. Nonetheless, we're just playing that Janine, and that's it. <laughs> they don't get the KO. We don't get the KO, sorry, should I say. But, you know, here's what it is, right? Let's get rid of the Pidgeotto and the Ultra Ball, I guess? No, the Cynthia. See, now we're just relying on Janine. So, all we got to do here, really, is... Let's use this Recargo, smooth over, and get ourselves probably another Venomoth. Or we could work with this Custom Catcher here a little bit. And, uh, no, 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 that'll be later game, I'd say. Um, probably get another Venomoth. So this Ditto doesn't get easily targeted, I guess. Switch into this Venomoth. Nice and easy. Play that Janine. 
drop that energy down there. That's pretty good, that. Yeah. And then we get the power pad, because I think we're running out. No, we're not running out, but we do have two. Um, and the choice band. Yeah. At 80. Good stuff. Nice. There we go for the Sh Shinobari Master there. And uh, no KO, I'm afraid, but immunity from these fellas. Which is just nice. And hopefully they don't read the card. Because if they cheekily go for a retreat and they try and attack me, then we have a nice little KO, if I'll be honest with you. But from now on, it's just going to be Janine Town, now that we have the engine sorted out. So, they could triple charge all they want. I mean, it might actually be more beneficial here to go for... No, it won't be beneficial to go for a Kuzma. <laughs> They'll just KO us, like, immediately. Yeah, we need to just Janine our way through um, here. We, we have it now, so... Man, that Shame is going to be doing a lot of damage. But, uh... Haha! <laughs> Thank God we have immunity! <laughs> he says confidently. Um, let's get rid of Cynthia... This is real risky, but we don't need consistency so much anymore. We need to kind of just follow up attackers. Again, risky, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's let's power pad back the Janines. Makaga! Janine. There we go. I was, I was a bit confused there going, hang on. What do I get? No, it's a Janine. You get a Janine. It's, it's the whole point of the deck show. <laughs> oh wow, double Janine on top there. That's funny. Okay. Um Whoa! Calm down, Sean. Don't attack yet. Jeez, a oh lot of mercy. Okay, uh, that's a good pull. That's a good pull. No, that's a better pull. Yeah. Actually, now looking at my hand, that ultra ball is quite bad. <laughs> All right, Shinobi Master. Here we go. Nothing you can do right now. Absolutely nothing. As long as you don't have the Guzma play. But we can go for another Janine Shinobi Mastery um, on this Buzz Wall with Custom Catcher. Um, so we can kind of just pick it out into the active. And then after that, we can actually have a Guzma play and get a KO. We got the victory. Nice and smooth. Good stuff. And uh, I honestly, I might have to leave it at that. It is getting super late. And I, I really, really want to get another game in. But it's just getting too late now. Just because I forgot to uh, press the record button the first time. Let's see. Hang on. Let's see if I can get this trick right this, the first time. Right? Ready? I did it! Come on! Let's, let's, go, let's go to... The, 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 old, uh, the old deck. There we go. And um, show you how it is. So, oh, what was that? Okay, right. This is the list. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Again, you always want to start turn one. Otherwise, you are going to slack a little bit and it's going to be quite painful. But the uh, 10 card return GX is a real big power move in this deck, which is really good in the early game uh, for setting up and stuff. The custom catchers can really come in handy when you're up against big tag team GXs and you're doing a two-hit KO. Um, obviously, when you're playing Janine, you're hitting 110, 140 with a choice ban. As I said, you're 2-pick KOing a lot of stuff. So in the Reshirad matchup, you always want to play Janine. And the Custom Catcher is really good for kind of just two-shotting those Reshirads as they try and retreat and keep them safe. Which uh, is going to happen a lot of the time when you're playing two-shot decks. So it's a great card to play. And it's quite easy to obtain with the Makargo Pidgeotto engine. So there's that. Um... But yeah, it's, it, it functions very well. Now, one could argue that you could replace Pidgeotto with Zorak, but then you're opening up a door to a lot of weaknesses um, and a lot of liability in the deck as well. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword, but you can do it with the 2-2 Zorak line as well. It does the same thing. So there's that. But I'm, I'm really happy with this deck. It's, it's quite unique. It's really fun. And I'd recommend you try it out. But yeah, with that all said, do leave a like if you did enjoy. And of course, do subscribe for more. But most importantly, please do take care. And peace.